Hey everyone, welcome to Unicorn Dust Designs. On Thursdays, we do Thrifted Thursdays. Don't mind Hank in the background. Um, that is where I do hauls. I show you guys what I found at the thrift stores this week or weeks. And I post on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com, five minutes prior to going live here. So make sure you check it out. People are already shopping. And just because you add something, excuse me, to your cart does not mean that, do you wanna say hi? Come here. That it is saved. So make sure you check out. Hi, Conky. If your paws are dirty, mama gonna be upset. I am. Can you say hi to everyone? What do you smell? Okay. All right, mama, done with the love. Not you. He's not done with the loves. Um, so I can't wait to show you these finds because it's so. It is an eclectic array of thrifted items. And you guys, you know how I'm always complaining about the background? Well, I don't know where it is right now. But, oh, I bought paint. I bought paint for it. And hopefully I will remember to record it because I think I'm going to put an IOD paint inlay right here and frame it in. Have a chalkboard right here. It's going to be fabulous. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna do a thrifted haul and then after this at 9 p.m. Central, I go live on Facebook and YouTube and we're gonna craft some of the stuff that we've hauled that I feel necessary to DIY. So let's get right into, Hank, I need you to step away, okay? Let us let me show you some of the bigger stuff. So for my birthday, my husband took me and Montgomery to breakfast while the kids were at school and then we headed to Savers. I need to tell you guys, do not skip out on, usually at Savers, if you guys have one, usually any thrift store, there is a section in the store where they keep like the larger items. And usually they're a bit cheaper because they're looking to get rid of them fast. So we found this guy, this vintage gas tank that's already cut up. And you guys, it was $6.99. That was all. I see these on Facebook Marketplace during the season and they are $50 and up. So $6.99, this is gonna fit so well into like our new house and everything. Putting this on the front porch or even like out back. Oh, I love it. Has the hole cut in for the light. It's just perfect. Like the coloring and everything is just so gorgeous. I can't believe $6.99. So don't miss out on that big section because usually they are really cheap and some, you just never know. Um, another one, let me see this. I actually found you guys a while back. So I collect things from different thrift stores and then I kind of put together a haul because I don't find everything like in one week. So it takes a lot of store hopping and all that. This was that store I told you I found in Missouri that was more like a garage sale and he had 50% off everything. This egg basket, vintage egg basket was only $3. And he said that it came, he um, got it from a farm. So he said it is a vintage basket and it's a little rusty on the bottom. I'm not sure if I could sell this um, on the website. If I do, I just need to figure out how to box it and the shipping is going to be expensive um, or I need to price it up a little bit just because the bigger the box, it's funny because it usually doesn't matter the weight. It's the bigger the box, the more the shipping. So I will see if I can figure out how to ship this. One day I'll learn how to ship everything to you guys. Um, cause that would be awesome. But this was only $3 and it's, it's a big old basket, a big old egg basket. So three bucks. Yes, ma'am. Um, I might even keep that too for when we get the house together. Cause that would be great to put like blankets in and things like that. Just little throws or even like baby toys or, I mean, you could do so much with that. Um, another thing, John found these and John wanted them for himself and they were $3.99 each and they're like really nice wood frames, really nice. We love the detail right here and John always gets, um, band posters and stuff. So I don't know what exactly we'll do with them. 
we can even use them actually in the house. They're really pretty um, frames. And then this one actually had the mat in it. You know, it was probably one of those Knott's Berry Farm pictures, you know, like the Wild Wild West picture was in there. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, Knott's Berry Farm. I used to love going there growing up. Okay, now this one, John got this last week, The my birthday, no. No, we went on Saturday, I think it is. We took the kids to breakfast at Big Biscuit and we hit the UPS store to drop off packages. And then, I mean, coincidentally, there's a Sabres right there. So we have to, we have to go in. They get new stuff every day, you guys. And John found this. And he was like, I don't know, should I get it? It was $14.99, but you guys, this wood looks like it was somebody's barn wood and that they made this like frame themselves like it's a handmade frame and this poster of John Wayne is super old it has like you can see a little bit of water damage I mean it is perfect I told John I go yes get that that is too like cool looking not to get when are we ever going to see a frame like this and if he ever wanted to change it out he could it looks like it's coming loose there but that's okay, we can glue it. It has a hanger on the back and everything. And that was $14.99. John and I are all about, if we're not gonna see it again, then you probably need to grab it. Um, I'm like, was that the only big thing? Yes. All right, I picked up this basket. I know y'all aren't basket fans. Um, I don't sell many of the baskets that I haul, but sometimes I just can't help myself. Uh, this one was $3.49, and I thought it would look so pretty with florals. I'm going to post this on the website just as is, and then if it doesn't sell, I might add some florals to it and then see if it sells, but I love the shape of this and then how it's really narrow. It'll be so easy to fit different florals in here and then change them out, Um I thought that basket was so, so cool and different and unique. Very cottage core, very French country, farmhouse. I mean, this fits the list for all of them. So that will be up on the website. And then let's, let me show you the bunnies. I was like, I need to like go through all of my bags and find all of the Easter kind of stuff before Easter is over. So at Turnstiles, I found this cutie now this is definitely more modern um i cannot stand i get why they put the shipping tape on but this shipping tape leaves so much residue so i'm over here with goo gone for like an hour trying to get this stuff and it's because they like tape their stickers so they don't fall off and i get that but i'm like can we use something else like maybe you guys could get painter's tape and just write on because yeah this is like I'm gonna have to clean all of this but anyways look at how cute this little jar is oh it's a candle oh my gosh that smells amazing it's citrus so this probably isn't gonna come with it unless I could get the tag off but I don't know if I can it's citrus juniper I don't know where this is from but none of the flowers on here are chipped. You could see the little bit of texture in the bunny ears. And you guys, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. You, you guys, if you have a, like a girlfriend or like a daughter or mother or something, look at how cute this is. You make me hoppy. This is stinking adorable. It does not have like the brand on the little sticker or anything. It just says citrus juniper. So I'll try looking it up, but I got it for $4.99. I like how I spent like two minutes on this one thing, but I did not. I thought it was like a little container and this candle is out of this world. In the Okay, I'll stop talking about it. That I got for $4.99 and I couldn't help myself because it had weight and there was so much detail and not one chip on it. The next one is this little vintage bunny. 
and this was $2.99. What do you think would go in the little egg here? Just, I don't know, three peanut M&Ms? I have no idea, but so cute. Love the vintage, love the light pink, and then the little marks of blue. Very detailed, and again, no chipping on the ears, the feet, nothing. So $2.99 for that at Turnstiles. Now, somebody else mentioned in my live last week that Turnstiles was only in KC, but somebody contact, uh, commented that they were in, was it Texas? I forget, but somebody commented and said they had Turnstiles in their state. So it's not just um, Kansas. So look them up because they actually have thrift store pricing. I also found this bunny for $4.99 and this bunny has crackle. Do you see the crackle on the face and everything? Very pretty bunny, has great detail in the flowers, great coloring. This one is beautiful and this one's a, a lot bigger. Sorry about my lighting. I have like the blinds open. I was trying not to use the ring light. So hopefully we're, we're good. Um, another bunny thing. Where are you? You guys, this one's so cute. This one is so cute. It was $3.99. I got to open it up. I just got to say the price tag so I know what I paid for. This was $3.99 at Savers. And I couldn't help myself. I don't know if it's modern. It doesn't look modern. It's a salt and pepper shaker. And it has its stoppers. But you guys... The bunnies hugging or holding, I'll say hugging. I think it's cute or the, um, the carrot. Is that not the cute? I'm going to, is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? And it's just white and it's distressed back with some brown on it. And it looks like there's a tiny, 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 tiny chip in its little ear right there. Just tiny-ish. But, how cute. And they have the stoppers in them. And I paid $3.99 for them, but I didn't care. I didn't care. I thought $3.99 was worth it because I can't say that I've seen um, salt and pepper shakers like that. Not that I like shop for pop, uh, salt and pepper shakers all the time, but you know. Uh, let's see. I think I have one more bunny and then I have more salt and pepper shakers. I guess it was just like that kind of thrifting event. This was, sorry, this was $2.49. Tina told me, she's like, girl, you need to start holding that stuff up so I could post the links. Can we all say thank you to Tina and give her a round of applause? Cause she is such a rock star helping me out. I appreciate you, Tina. Uh, don't know what that marking is. It is very fuzzy. Like they stamped it and try to stamp it again. And it just did not come out. Hand wash only with sponge. Do not scrub. Do not put in dishwasher or microwave. This was $2.49. And the details are so beautiful on this. This would be, I mean, if you want to use it as a mug, that would be great. You can also um, use it in a tear tray or even put a planter in here as well. But I just thought the details of the carrot as the handle and that bunny was so beautiful. And this was $2.49 at Savers. So I think I got all of the bunnies squared away. Now, the rest of the salt and pepper shakers. I found, now maybe these aren't, these aren't salt and pepper shakers. Sorry, these are little knickknacks. And they were $2.99. Sorry, Tina, haven't opened it yet. $2.99. Yeah, these definitely aren't salt and pepper shakers. They are little knickknacks. And they are these beautiful birds. And neither one of them has any chipping. This has some yellow on it. So I'll try and take that off. But very cute. They look vintage to me. Made in Japan. Yeah. So, and they are different. So this one is in flight. And then this one is perched. So I paid $2.99 for the set of these. So if you are a bird lover, these would be so beautiful on a vignette, on um, a book stack, 
so many options for those birds. I really hope. It's weird this, it almost looks like somebody like got glued to it. I wonder if I could take some heat and get that off because I'm like going like this right now and it's not doing anything. So we'll see, hopefully that comes off because that'd be a shame if it doesn't. And like their beaks, none of the feathers are chipped or anything. Okay, these are salt and pepper shakers. And I usually won't pick salt and pepper shakers up unless they have the, the bottom. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't like pre-open these little bags. Always search the bags. Always, always. It might look like junk, but it definitely is not. Uh, these were $3.99. And I couldn't help myself because they're chubby little birds. And again, they are salt and pepper. This one even still has like pepper in it. That's some core salt. This one has salt in it. Okay. Um, and their beaks are perfection. Nothing is chipped. And again, they look very like farmhouse white. They have a little bit of the brown on top and they both have their little corks in them. This guy looks like maybe, yeah, it was chipped a little bit, but you could hardly tell. Do you see that on his head? See that right there. But other than that, their beaks are in great condition. The bottom of their feathers are in great condition and they have the stoppers. I paid $3.99 for those. So don't, don't skip out. Don't skip out on that bag section. All right. Now I'm like in this like theme of like, hey, let's do baskets, let's do animals, but don't, then I'll take longer if I do that. So I just need to get through. I found this awesome copper pot with a cast iron handle and it is a hammered copper little tiny pot and it's beautiful. It was $3.99 at Savers. I can't, you know, some of the things, it's funny how we all have different eyes. Or is this a ladle? Would this be considered a ladle with a little pour spout, you know, right there? Um, it's funny how we all have different eyes for things, how somebody else would walk right past this. And I'm like, oh, give me that. It's copper and cast iron. You know, if you thrift, then obviously you, you get, you get me. Okay. But this was $3.99. Absolutely loved it hanging. See, this is where I'm like, I want to start keeping little things like this because I could actually fit this on my wall in my kitchen. It's The kitchen's quite tiny. So that was $3.99. I found this basket for $2.49 and I could not help myself. I loved the Americana colors, this beautiful detail. Well, the whole basket has beautiful detail on it, but this dark blue red and this walnut brown on the basket is so beautiful and it sits very well and it literally does not have one break in it at all. Like look at how beautiful. And that was $2.49. Next I found this. This obviously I'm keeping for myself. It is a Kansas pottery mug and it was only $1.99. Come on, get off there. Not like I need another mug to save my life. And I like how I like how to try and talk John like, babe, but it's handmade. It says Kansas, we should get it. I know I'm like stacking mugs on top of mugs at this point, but and I haven't even been drinking coffee in like the last two months that I've been like going to the gym. So, but yeah, why not add another one? And it is stamped with, I can't read it. It's stamped with something. Maybe I can, nope, my eyes are too blurry, but it is stamped and I got this for myself. Because it was so cute. When am I going to find another one of those? Um, we got, I don't know what these are. I'm going to have to look them up because I just don't know what kind of material they are. But these came in a mixed bag of different candlesticks and random things. 
and I think it was $5.99 for like the lot of the candlesticks, but these are just, I mean, these are gorgeous candlesticks. So much ornate detail on them. You can see down here, this would look good in my bookshelf with all of my old crusty books and just how they're very worn. They're gorgeous. And I will melt the wax out of there for you guys and clean those. So those don't really have like a price. I got them in like a, a bag. So I got this one. You all tell me, should I paint this or not? Cause I bought it to paint a different color. I think it is pretty in this like sand color. However, I do think it could be prettier if we painted it and waxed it. Even the numbers and the dots are raised on the face. So I can easily take this out, do the whole clock and then wax it and give it new life. It was, the tag's not on here anymore. I want to say it was like $5.99 or something. It looks like Acrochur Table Clock Cron Chronology. I'll look it up before I touch it, but that was my goal for this was to um, DIY it. It's a modern, you know, backing um, and it is heavy. It is very heavy. I like the, the dials on here as well. So I grabbed that. So we'll put this on the left side because this is DIY stuff. I found this little vintage rooster bell and I am not going to touch this. I think this adds so much character to the piece. I mean, imagine, and I'll look it up because I'm like, I imagine this, the Marquise collection made in Taiwan. I imagine this being around forever. Like imagine the history and what this bell has seen in someone's home, our homes. It even has like where the bell is attached and just a, is the bell too? It needs to be tightened up. Oh no, there you go. So look at how cute, look at the detail of its little feet, its face, and then the flower, has no, I don't know if that's a chip. Maybe it's a chip. Like, right, sorry, it takes a minute for it to focus. You got like the little knot in the tree stump. So that, where are all my tags? I feel like this was $3.99 or something. I'm like, they must have fallen off some of this stuff. Um, This is for those of you that collect copper and maybe are missing pieces. This is the piece that would go in like the chafing dish at the very bottom. If you go to my website, I have two pots listed, a brass and a copper one. And these sit in there. You put your light in here to um, heat the pan. And I grabbed it because I'm like, there might be somebody that just needs this piece to complete a um, a look or a set or something. So I found it for $2.99. It's in great condition. I mean, it has wear obviously, but yeah, it's in great condition. So $2.99. I've actually been picking up odds and ends to things like um, there's one in a, a future haul. I picked up the uh, oil lamp topper because what if I find an oil lamp base one day and it just needs a top? Like there I go. So that's just how my mind works. I found one of these. I forgot what they're called, you guys. Nope, it's not coming to my mind. I'm sure you guys will let me know. And it was $2.99 at Turnstiles. And this one actually has like, it looks like some kind of bird. Yeah, it's birds, look at that. That's a bird, that's like an owl. See, that's a bird. I'm not sure what that one is. That kind of looks like a turtle or something. A duck. Look at how different this one is. How fun. Oh, like I had a bug in my hair. Yeah, that's like a, that's so cool. I didn't really look at like the actual 
imprints of them until now, but that was $2.99 at Turnstiles. So that will be on the website. This one I am thinking is a bit more modern. It was $1.98 at Salvation Army. Oh, so I will probably DIY this one. Um, the handles are amazing, but I usually can tell they're a bit more modern because of the plastic rings on them. Um, this one has one falling off. You can't even see it. So I'll probably just DIY this one and it will be more of a decorative piece. I always check to see if Foley is inscribed in any of them, but it's not. So that'll make for a really good DIY. Maybe we'll flip that um, tonight. Who knows? All right, what else? I felt like I had, I got these to DIY. Oh, my DIY pile is over here, you guys. Okay, this will make it easier. These were only $1.99 for the sets. And I, I know I say it all the time, you guys, but it really shocks me how much some of the things are. And then you see other things and you're like, how is it that much? But I wasn't gonna complain. So $1.99 for the set, even the color is nice on these. So these are gonna be great for crafting. I might even use one in an upcoming video. So we will see. So $1.99 each for these. I also got this, which we are gonna DIY in an upcoming, I think it's for Saturday's video. I love the shape. This is going to make the best little vignette for spring, the best. I am gonna put an image with some cloth on there and I can imagine some like doilies hanging out with a little bit of flowers draped, a little bunny peeking out over here it's going to be fabulous. And this was $4.49. I feel like they're going down on their baskets. Their baskets for a minute were like, mm, why is it that much? I do not know. But I have definitely noticed that the baskets are going down in price. Uh, and speaking of baskets, look at how cute this is. Look at how cute. And it's in literally perfect condition. This one was $3.49. And this, it looks like somebody put like foam in here to kind of prop some stuff up, which is a great idea. And I kind of want to DIY this, but maybe I'll just, I'll post it for you guys and somebody else can do their, put their own take on it. Um, and then if it doesn't sell, then I will DIY it. But I thought that was so perfect and it was $3.49. See, $3.49 but this huge one was a dollar more. I don't know. It's not, hold on. I need my drink, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm getting parched. All right. Look how quick that was. My electrolytes. All right. These are for DIYs. They were $1.99 for two of them. And they're, I'm assuming these are bump pans. Look And of course, my first thought was for fall to make pumpkins out of them. But I was also thinking too, these could be really cool planters for succulents or I mean, any small like florals would look very cute arranged in here. And you can stencil with like an old saying, you could put transfers on here. So many options. And I... because if anything, I'm like, they would be great for pumpkins. So I got a lot of these to DIY. Maybe, I feel like these are things that you guys would be able to find at your thrift store. Tell me yes or no, because if not, maybe I can post four of them on the website and then keep four of them and not be so greedy. But I feel like I, I have this notion that I'm gonna DIY everything, you know? I got this to DIY. This was $5.99. I know you're like, Sammy, you paid $5.99 for that, but I did it because of the bird, okay? So look at that beautiful bird. So gorgeous in the flower. This has all of this raised detail all around the edges. And then we have the bottom as well. And I was thinking paint it up and then put some kind of transfer like that, maybe that jungle transfer from, um, 
IOD maybe, I don't know. And then it's just black on the inside. It's very lightweight. It says made in China for CBK Limited LLC. So I don't think, I don't think somebody would buy this just as is, but you know what? Everybody's style is so different. It has, it looks like ducks on the very bottom. I don't know. If somebody would buy it, comments and I'll post it. But if not, then it is for DIYs. Okay. You guys. So they were coming out with a new car and I felt like that person, you know, that's like stopping them and like, I'm sorry, can I... Nice snack. And the guy that was like trying to move, somebody stopped him. And then I came up and then I stopped him. And I'm like, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Look at this. Look at this beautiful rooster, you guys. And the best part is when I got came home and I was getting ready for this haul, I noticed his butt. It opens for a tea light. Well, I wouldn't say I tried a small tea light in it and it didn't really light him up. So you're going to need a bigger tea light or you could just put like an actual like, you know, I don't know, whatever. But it has in here. Do you see it where you put the light? And I was like, that is so cool because I don't know if you guys remember, they already sold the other roosters that I found that had the little tea lights in them. And these, I mean, this this one is really big and the colors are so beautiful it's black has these like it looks like hand painted cream dots on there the face is gorgeous the tail everything everything is so great nothing wrong with this at all and I paid $7.49 for him I didn't care I did not care so cool like the iron feet on there and everything was worth it now I always say, I don't always say, but I have gotten to the ha into the habit that when I'm looking down an aisle, I like go over it once, like I'll walk down, you know, and then I'm like, okay, I've, um, I've looked at it. And then on my like way back to the cart on the up other side, I'll start scanning again. And no joke, I was filming our, our thrifting experience when I found this. And no joke, I passed right over it the first time as I was walking down the aisle to the right, totally passed over it. My camera even caught it and I didn't even stop. It didn't even face me. And then as I was coming back, I was like, is that a terracotta piggy? Oh my gosh. You guys, this thing is so cute. Look at, look at its little fit. And somebody definitely used it for plants. I'll try cleaning this out, you guys, but... I mean, I could probably clean <clears throat> majority of it out, probably. Um, but he is in great condition. There are no chips to him. I mean, of course, he's a little dirty. He was obviously used for actual plants. He has holes for drainage on the bottom. And I couldn't believe I almost missed this. And $5.49. So at Savers, sometimes you have bad days where you're like, man, I can't afford any of this stuff. And then some days you find little gems like that and it makes the trip completely worth it. Um, I bought this for John and he decided because we don't have much wall space and stuff in the garage that he didn't want it. I've told you guys before that John loves like little like eclectic eccentric things like ships and you saw the John Wayne, you know, thing. So I found him this at Salvation Army and you can see it has like the Eagle has all of its original glass bottles. You could even see like the background that like tweed, it's not tweed, but y'all know the drawers still work. And I found this at Salvation Army. It says it's gift wood made for gift wood in Japan. And it has the hangers and everything. And I found this at Salvation Army for $4.99. Now, I'm not taking any of the tape off. So if you buy this, you're going to have to clean the residue off. I want this to be as safe as possible. So I am not taking the tape off. Um, and you will be getting it like this. 
but look at the original has all of the rubber tops like even some of these look like a little discolored so I don't know if they were used for spices or what but it is such a unique find that I grabbed it unfortunately John was like I don't I don't have anywhere to put something like that so that is uh now somebody else can have it um I found this sign and I actually like it just as is there's no place like home and I loved its rustic look I'm not going to do anything to it I just thought it was a really cool sign hopefully this sticker yeah it didn't take off anything it says designs by Kathy on the back so I don't know where it came from but I just really like the rustic design of it it looked good with somebody that has like a lot of wood in their house brick walls things like that this I did not thrift but I wanted to show you that I will be posting this on my website I've been pulling a lot of things from my booth lately, so check the upcycled home decor because I did add a lot of things that I've taken out of my booth. A lot of it did sell already, but um, I made this last year with paint inlays, farm fresh. We have one of the molds on here and it's a very beautiful toolbox that I did over. And then I'll also be selling this beautiful doily. I found this at Sabres a while back. And for the longest time in the booth, I had this displayed like in there draping out. And then I had big white flowers coming out of it. So that will be there. This is for DIYs. So I will flip these and then put them on my website. If you guys see these, these are so fun to update because they're easy. You paint them, you wax them, or you can wet distress them and it gives it completely new life and a new look. So I love that the patterns were different and these were $2.99 each. So $2.99 each and you can flip them and you can make a really good profit off of them. These say 12 inch ceiling tiles, um, Linwood, Illinois. So that was really cool. And then they have the hanger already on there for us. So maybe I, um, that water lily that I did on that last wall pocket that had these designs turned out so beautiful when I wet distress them and then white wax. Maybe I'll do that again with, I know it's not everybody's thing, but old 57 would be fun to try on this and then dark wax it. So. I don't know. Sometimes I like to step out of my comfort zone because not everybody likes white and distressed brown or light colors or whatever. There are some people who love that pop of color. So carrying on this cast iron horse was $6.99. And I tell you guys all the time, I don't mind paying up for cast iron because it's quality. Like it's going to last forever. It's heavy. It's durable. And the details in this horse are just so beautiful. So if you are somebody that has stables or owns horses, this is going to be a great addition. You will need um, screws. They actually sell, in case you didn't know, um, and you see something like this at Hobby Lobby, they actually sell screws that will match cast iron in their like pools and hook section. So when they're 50% off, it's definitely worth it to pick some up. So we got that guy. We only have a few things left, you guys. I feel like I always hit about an hour on these thrift hauls. All right, I found these candlesticks and to be honest, I wouldn't clean them or anything. This came out of that bundle that I told you, the bag bundle. And they are, I'm assuming, they say Gorham. Gorham Heritage EP Italy. Ooh, I'll have to look those up. Fancy Italy. So I'm assuming they were silver at one point, but I love them just like this. I would not clean it. However, that is just my preference. Um, this, oh, I guess this one's missing the insert. Didn't even notice that because they look exactly the same, but you see how this one has the actual stop. But I don't think it would be a problem because putting a candle in there 
there's, you know, only a certain size at the base that they're not going to just keep going down. So I found these two, loved those. Those will be on the website. And I found more pewter. So these are actually part of a bigger collection. I believe there's three more to this. And these are um, like almost like measuring cups. I forget exactly what the term is. And they're actually worth a good amount of money. I just randomly picked these up. This one was $7.99. This one was $4.99. Because I was like, you know what? I've never seen anything like this. They're from Main Street something. I had looked them up when I first got them. And there is a set. So they go like big and then smaller, smaller. And I'm like, okay you need to let go of them now. You're probably not going to find those three pieces. So um, these will be sold together. They are a part of each other. So $4.99 and $7.99. And again, if it's unique and I don't think I'll ever see it again, then I'm going to buy it for sure. Found this tray and this was only $3.99. So this is actually like, I like everything that's going on here. And I was thinking about just putting a transfer over this. It's just like a really light weight, but the back is not good and not cute. Like it's not moldy or anything. It's not soft, but you could obviously see that like water or something got on here. So I'm like, I wonder if I could just paint the bottom black and clear it. That way I don't have to touch any of this. This would also be a really pretty sign, even with the handles on it. And then attach either like a metal, like string to the back, you know, string, you know what I'm saying? A wire to the back for hanging. Um, this can make a really good sign too. So maybe I could do, make it a sign because then you wouldn't really be seeing the back. I don't know, let me know any, any way I put it, I need to cover the back because that's not okay to sell um, like that. So let me know what you guys think. I, I don't feel like I should paint the whole thing because I really love how it's distressed on its own. So, and that was only $3.99. So I got that to DIY. You guys will not believe. So this was $5.99 at Salvation Army, you guys. And it is big and it is heavy and it is beautiful. I love this. And look at the details where the candle holders would be. It, I don't know where you would actually put the hanger. Oh, and now there's a tag right there that says 498. I mean, you can hang it really anywhere, I guess, on the wall. But that thing is a really good size. So... I love it this way. And then if it doesn't sell this way, I'll probably white wax it and then I will put it for sale. However, I am noticing that when I am waxing the cast iron, the details don't show up that much because the cast iron is so rough. It kind of like just takes in all the wax. So just putting it out there, but um, I'm gonna list it just like this. I don't even know how I'm gonna ship this. It's so ginormous, but all cast iron it's beautiful very beautiful beautiful details like these look like flowers it's gorgeous i'm pretty sure i paid the 5.98 for that can you sit up without falling all right and then last but not least how lucky have i been finding the crockery lately look at that i found one i found another one and $14.99 at Savers. This is where I'm like, I almost feel like sometimes the bigger things, they just want to get rid of. So they actually price them appropriately because we all know it seems like they're looking at prices on eBay. So if they did look this up, they would know it's worth a lot more than $14.99. So I don't know if they're just trying to price it to get it out since it's a bigger item or what, but I'll take it. This one is not stamped with any anything on the bottom. It does have, of course, like some chipping. This is actually funny because like this is actually a part of like the crock. This isn't like a chip 
I mean, this maybe is, but this right here, like just like the quirky way it was made, which I think is so fun. The last one did sell, the one that looked like this. I still have the picture available. I actually displayed it next to the creepy bunny that I had with florals in it. And you guys, with those blue stripes, it's gorgeous. But found that for $14.99. So y'all, that was the thrift haul today. Make sure you hop on the website. And remember, just because you put things in your cart doesn't mean it's saved for you. So make sure you check out. And then make sure 9 p.m. tonight, we'll be back and I will be uh, crafting some of this stuff. And that's 9 p.m. And I'll be on Facebook and YouTube. If you guys do have a Facebook, if you could head over there, that'd be awesome. I'm trying to get monetized on the lives over there. So if any of you could help me out and hop on that forum, it would be amazing. Um, I appreciate you all. And I know that I say this often in my videos, but... Um, I feel very blessed to be able to do this, like to be able to do something I'm so passionate about shopping for thrift store stuff. Like that is awesome. That is like the coolest thing ever. And I get to do this because people like you that watch this video that shop on our website. Um, we love it. Like, I love that I get to do this with my family, the shipping you guys buy Everly and Everett's buys, which is just so cool and so dear to my heart. And, um, I just appreciate you all. I appreciate you all so very much. And thank you for allowing me to do this for a living. So I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday night and I'll see you back here at 9 p.m. Bye. For those of you that are new to Thrifted Thursday, I just wanted to give you a little overview of my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. When you first enter it, you'll see some like featured collections. You'll see some items and you can scroll all the way down and that is where you can see where to contact me, return policy, all that good stuff. Now, if you go to the top of the page in collections, you will actually see more things. So we have SVG files, mystery box, salt wash, and then we have shop my junk, shirts and mugs, and upcycled home decor. Now, if you go into shop my junk, you will see everything that was on today's haul. They are listed from newest to oldest items. So make sure you're scrolling throughout the pages so, um, Montgomery's with me so just because you sure might catch something that you didn't see from the previous week's hauls. You know, I have tons of goodies on here. So definitely make sure to check it out. Look at that little, look at that little roaster. I love that one. And then I have tons of copper baskets. So a lot of variety. So make sure to go to unicorndustdesigns.com. And then I also have you guys my upside home decor as well so any of the DIYs I do on my channel I usually list on my website and my DIYs along with the thrift haul will always go live on the website five minutes prior to me posting my video so keep that in mind you get first chance of looking through things you could add to the cart and purchase right away you can also use this tool up top to search so if you saw me like show something that's that was a bunny. You can search bunny and it will pull up whatever I have titled bunny. If it's maybe rabbit, I mean, whatever it is, you can use this search bar to help you out as well. If you don't want to look through all the pages. So thank you for spending your time with me and the link will be down in the description box.